Welcome back to International Scale Model. I'm Lee. Today we're going to do the reveal show for the 100 Years of Bomber Sig that's been running for about the last three and a half months, four months on on ISM. Uh, obviously it's been an amazing thread, some amazing builds. Uh, bombers aren't the easiest thing so they take up a lot of bench space and obviously display space once they're finished as well. So hats off to all you guys who've managed to get over the uh, finish line on this one. I think we had 53 enter um, of those 26 pass, so 50% hit rate, uh, finish rate, which isn't too bad I suppose, but uh, it's quite a lot of entries. Um, it's unfortunate a lot of them haven't followed through, but there you go, that's life. Uh, but I think without further ado, I think we should have a look at some of these amazing builds. Uh, so here goes.
Well, there you go. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree with some absolutely fantastic builds in there. There's some really uh, hard work gone into those bombers. I mean, look, they're not small. They do take up a lot of space on the bench and in display space as well, uh, so, which is the problem that I get. I've got a few big models that I really want to build, but I've got, just got nowhere to put them when, uh, when it's finished. So those will have to go on the back burner until I uh, clear some space or chuck the wife out or something like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's some cracking threads. There really were some good threads in there and they're really interesting to watch. What I do like is now everyone's starting to get the idea or the ethos behind our group builds uh, that we want threads where people are, are showing any problems they have and how they're overcoming those problems which obviously helps everyone who's reading the thread so uh, some excellent jobs and uh, again when we come to picking the winners I think the top eight or nine I think there was like half a point between them and uh, I think the top three pretty much scored uh, all the same and it was just a case of you know it really was ints of degrees of uh, why we got uh, who picked the winners and who got the first second and third places and everything so i can tell you fourth fifth and sixth were you know within half a point of first second and third so it was a very very close one indeed and as i say these these um these gbs and sigs are only actually getting harder and harder to judge every single one so i'm glad we've got gary on board to help us for that so thanks again mate um but we did all agree on the top three just not the right order so we've we've averaged them out and uh these are the orders that we come in so i think without further ado let's announce the winners right okay the prizes uh obviously the prizes we all know what they are i've done reviews on them all two of them i've released this one's uh, the liberator reviews due to come out next week uh, but we've got the first prize is the B24D Missing Centenarians from Eduard, a 172 limited edition kit. It is out of production from Eduard now, um, but um, it's a mini craft kit that's been reboxed and obviously Eduard have added that extras to it. So uh, then we've got second place, we've got the Dornier Do 217M1, the historic upgrade from Italeri. Uh, I've done a review on this, so as you guys know I'm not overly impressed with that kit, but that's the second place. Third place is the Roden Beechcraft UC43 Staggerwing and 148. Uh, that's the one out of those three that I'd really like. I've got to say, it's just an interesting subject. Um, but uh, three very good prizes, obviously, um, graciously donated by models, John, model, John and Mandy at Models I Go. So thank you very much, guys, for that. Um, but uh, let's have a look at the winners then. Okay, so third place. Uh, in third place, we have for the uh, Peachcraft UC3 Stagger Wing. Uh, the winner of third place is Rocky996R. Uh, well done, Simon. Uh, it's a great build. Uh, excellent thread and uh, as I say all three places were heads breadth of each other so uh, so well done Simon on that if you let me have your details on the site that'd be smashing and in second place our second place winner is DB Miller uh, well done DB you get the uh, Dornier Do 217 M1 um, as I say unfortunately it's not a brilliant kit I don't think so anyway maybe you'll be able to work your magic on it because uh, what you did with your thread what you know how you turned that plane aircraft round into a, a, a smashing aircraft is an old kit that you actually you know completely transform so I think you'll do a good job on that as well uh, so I think that's actually gone to the right person that kit uh, anyway on to first and so first place uh, the winner of the 100 years of bombers GB for ISM is Ben C123 well done Ben uh, excellent thread great model excellent finish as well really really did like that and uh, it's a mean looking beast as well so excellent well done ben you get the b24d from eduard the mission centenarians one and i'd just like to say thank you to everyone that um participated in the build whether you're finished or not um the winners please send me your details on ism uh, pm me your names and uh, your addresses and everything so we can get these kits to you but i just want to say big well done to everyone it was another smashing gb it really was and uh, really proud of you lot so uh, well done. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.